I'll go to the book of Matthew, Mark. Hallelujah. We need to be reminded of these things. We need to be reminded. You look into the perfect law of liberty, you're not supposed to forget what man a man you are, a woman you are. Amen. Mark chapter 3, verse number 13 says this, And he went up to the mountain and called unto him those he himself wanted, and they came to him. Notice he called them to him. Notice that, and he appointed 12 that they might be with him. See, that's the problem. Some people want to go, but they don't understand your call is to be with him first. You don't have a message until you've been with him. Our call is to be with him. If I call, if I call Leslie right now and say, Leslie, Leslie, and she walk out the door, that's an insult. That's disrespect. Are you with me? I called her to come to me. So you were called to come to Jesus. To find out what he wants. You fellowship with him. Uh -huh. Now notice the Bible says that they might that they might be with him and that he might send them out to preach. You ain't ready to go until you've been with him. Amen. Amen. That's why some of these people are so 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 powerless. They haven't been with him. Amen. Jesus spent many hours in prayer with his father. He's been with the father. That's why the power is available. So if you don't have no power available, you need to spend time with him. Glory to God, can you shout amen? amen. That he might send them out to preach and to have power to what? Heal sicknesses and to cast out demons. That's all of us in responsibility. Can you shout amen? amen? I say, can you shout amen? amen. Now look at this. Y'all still here? Amen. Ah, yeah, Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right, I'm looking for another scripture here. I've got to show you another one here. Amen. Oh, thank you, Lord. Where's the scripture that says they went with him? They went out and they, 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 they did what Jesus told them to do in this book of Mark. Come on, somebody find it for me, please. I got to go. I want to pull out of my spirit. Let me find that one. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Come on, folks. Y'all didn't see it yet? Mm, mm, mm. All right. Y'all want to find I'll find it for you. Six and what? Six verse seven? No, that's not it. Six and four. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. You're close. Thank you, sir. Now, notice in six and twelve, he says, so they went out and preached that people should repent. And they did what? Cast out many demons and anointed with all many who were sick and what? Healed. Arrest the case. That's what we're supposed to be doing. That's what we got the power for. Not to play power games in church, rubbing one another down. Amen. Are you with me? We are believers and we have a priesthood. Come on, Christians. This is something that we all are supposed to do. It ain't for a select group of people. It's for those who believe in his name. And I submit to you that everybody's supposed to be doing that. Everybody's supposed to be laying hands on sin. I don't care what they are. Are you with me? Guess what? SARS is coming to town, you know. What are we going to do? We're going to put on our little mask? Or are we going to take the word of God that says, if they drink any deadly thing, it should not hurt them? Are we going to leave God for divine immunity? I was reading a book one time before John G. Lake. When the bubonic plague broke out in Africa, he was there as fast as they could bear it, they were dying. And he was helping, and the medical people came with the supplies and things like that, the antidote against it. And they noticed, they said, well, uh, let me ask you a question, Dr. Lake, how come you're not dying with the rest of them? How come this thing is not bothering you or, or making you sick? And, and he said, well, I'll tell you what you do, do an experiment. experiment. He said, the only thing you have to do is next time that someone dies, they all that froth that comes out of their mouth and all that, 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 that stuff that comes out, the foam that comes out of their mouth, he said, just take it, put it in a microscope, I'll put it on my hand, I'll put my hand on a microscope, and I'll show you the scripture that says, the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus have made me free from the law of sin and death. And they did the experiment, and when they dropped one, one drop on his finger, they, looked, they put it under the microscope, and they begin to die. Divine immunity. How do you think Jesus was able to touch left? And he himself did not get infected with that. Divine immunity. What are we going to believe God? Folks, the days upon us are dark days. 
but the light of God's glory is going to rise up on the church, the true church, the true believers, the true saints of God, those who believe His word. Are you with me? I'm telling you, I'm not going to want to be in that army. I'm in that army. And I'm looking for people who want to be gathered together, who want to be trained in doing this stuff and seeing the works of God perform on the earth. It's time out for a lot of talk. We've talked and preached long enough. We got tapes, books, all kinds of paraphernalia, but we got few people with power. Oh, can y'all shout in here? If those children cannot be quiet in there, tell them please exit out the door. This is, this is a service going on. Amen. Stand on your feet. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. First thing I want to do, come in, Martin. Get started away. Hallelujah. We want to pray for those that are sick tonight. Anybody came in here with pain in their physical body? Amen. I definitely want to pray for this lady right here. I'm going to save her. Just, just, just hold her right there. I'm going to pray for her. Hallelujah. We're going to minister to her. Hallelujah. We're going to minister to her. I'm, I just can't wait to get to her. But anybody else that you've got any type of sickness, pain, or malady in your body, now is your time. We're going to curse it in Jesus' name and tell her to go. And it will obey us. Amen. I'll be glad to get in here tonight. If nobody's uh, no pain or anything like that, is anybody. I don't have to. Amen. But if you're in pain tonight, you don't have to be. If you're dealing with some type of sickness, some illness or whatever, you don't have to be. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I hear the Lord say somebody that's dealing with some prostate problem. It's got to be a man that's dealing with a prostate problem. Hallelujah. The Lord wants to touch you tonight. The Lord wants to touch you tonight. Area of pressure in your prostate. I'm not saying this is any type of thing or whatever, but area in your prostate or whatever that you need. You've been having some discomfort there. The Lord wants to touch you tonight. The Lord wants to heal you in that area. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, uh, come on. Yeah, you, you guys, come on. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands right now and they worship now. Just worship. Get an attitude of worship. The power of the Lord is present to heal them. The presence of the Lord comes when we worship Him. Get our eyes off of spectacular things. Let's get up and let's shoot out. The anointing of God is here to remove the burden. The Bible says this shall come to pass in that day.